It wasn't our night. I mean, we had opportunities uh, early on in the half. You know, Try to go up 14, one of those things. Um, we threw a, threw a pick and red zone, we were rough. You know, they, they did a good job of uh, stopping our run game, which usually we're pretty good in the run game. Um, opportunities were there. Uh, they played hard. The crowd was with them. I mean, uh, hats off to them, right? They won the game. You know, they, they, they didn't. They didn't lose. We lost. Can't say we lost the game. They won the game. You know, there was there was chances for us to get in that game for sure. Uh, you know, we only gave up 45 points. I mean, that's usually enough for us to win football games. So we were a little off on the offensive side. I know you haven't been able to watch it yet, but is there anything that you noticed off the bat about the red zone play, which kind of was the reason for the struggle? <sighs> I mean, without going too far into yeah. it, I mean, we're at the one yard line. We got to be able to punch that in. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, we're usually pretty good about that. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> we had it over again. I'd do it the same way, and I think we, we, we could get in. Uh, but tonight, we didn't. What are the next 24 hours like for you? What are you going to be doing? Um, I mean, we're just going to, you know, recoup, lick our wounds tonight. We get back on the bus tomorrow. Uh, you know, exit physicals tomorrow, the, the hard part. Somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. And this year, we lost. So, um, you know, we have to swallow the pill. And, uh, again, Coach, one, how much of a turning point was Tyrell Robinson going down with the ankle injury? Didn't help, that's for sure. I mean, the, the kid was playing at a high level. Uh, he recovered a fumble recovery uh, right there. I thought we had a really good plan for our secondary, uh, you know, to hold them to that and then losing him. We definitely missed him several plays, um, but they had some big chunks of yardage on. Not have him out there, you know. We moved Kent there, Richardson, who's been with me before, but he's not a Jack linebacker. So just you know, little things like that. But it didn't cost us the game. I mean, we had enough stops to, to get it done. Um, like I said, we were just a little off on the offensive side. One thing from tonight, BJ Bunn, fantastic game. He was on IR early in the week. Can you just speak to his game? Man, he's a great player. He's you know one of our several rookies that yeah. uh, stepped up and played well for us. I mean, he's very great. You know, good after the catch. Um, he had a long touchdown on, on the fake little screen we had there. Um, you know, he deserved it. I, I was happy to get him back in there. You know, we'd, always, we'd love to have Aaron out there, but it was nice to see a guy who's fought his butt off all year long and worked hard every week to, to get out there and get him back off IR this week. Coach, what made you decide to have Money play the Ironman position, both linebacker and wide out? Well, I mean, just because he did play, you know, during the season at Jack Onbacker for six, seven games, when obviously losing Robinson. Uh, you know, on the very first defensive drive, um, you know, and Kent just didn't know enough about our defense of being here for a day um, to use him in the red zone. So uh, we'll put money back out there. I mean, you know, there's no more games in the end of the season. This is it. So you have to put, you know, it's kind of like the old uh, uh, Bobby Boucher, you know, it's, it's the last game of the season. You, you know, you got to do whatever you got to do out there. And uh, what's the off season like for you? Um, Back home, usually I do some kind of coaching. Um, I've coached at a private school before. I've done China. Um, you know, I do a little bit of everything in the off season, but um, just go home and relax. Uh, enjoy my family. I'm away from them for five months. They get to come up sometimes you know, during the season, but you know, it's, it's hard being away from the family, so look forward to get back to them. With Adrian Burns on the one yard line, looks like um, you know, he's being stuffed from the goal line. On the fourth down with Dan Radaba, was that a read where he was? It's a read. It's a dive play? option. It's okay. a dive option. Um, you know, we were at that point searching because we were getting stuffed, um, and that we're not used to that. We're used to for years uh, you know, since I've been coaching, since I've been playing, we're able to run that play and, and get it in. Tonight we couldn't. You know, that's that, that's a very rare thing for us. And you know, again, you, you got to take your hats off to them to you know go in there and just you know stuffing it.